Hi, I'm Dr. Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM walking equation in order to calculate oxygen consumption for an individual on a treadmill or some other type of surface. So let's use a question to help us frame this conversation here. So Lindsay is a client at your gym. She's walking 3.1 miles per hour at 2% grade. How much oxygen is she consuming per minute in order to do this? Uh, so we're going to be calculating her relative VO2 uh, relative to total body mass. So it's going to be the milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. All right, so let's look at our given variables. So we have walking as our exercise modality, which will help us pick the correct equation. We have 3.1 miles per hour as the treadmill speed or just the walking speed if you're walking on a flat surface like a track. Um, we have 2% grade as the incline, which obviously I guess so this couldn't be a track, but may, maybe it's a, a fairly uh, consistent hill, we'll say. All right, so First thing we need to do is we need to convert the miles per hour to meters per minute because meters per minute are the units for speed that the ACSM equations require. So we have the 3.1 miles per hour, we're going to multiply that by 26.82, which is the conversion factors, factor to meters per minute. And that gives us 83.142 meters per minute for the walking speed. The 2% uh, grade also needs to be converted into decimal format. So 2% grade divided by 100 gives us 0 0.02 as the uh, decimal format for 2%. All right, so now that we have the, uh, our values in the correct units, um, let's go ahead and look at the walking equation. So the walking equation here is oxygen consumption in relative units, so milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute is equal to uh, open parenthesis 0 0.1 times speed, close parenthesis plus open parenthesis again, 1.8 times speed times grade, close parenthesis again, plus 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. And this 3.5 represents the resting component of this activity. Um, so let's go ahead then and plug in our values for the, uh, the speed and the grade. Um, we end up with uh, VO2 is equal to 0 0.1 times 83.142 in parentheses plus open parentheses again 1.8 times 83.142 times 0 0.02 close parentheses plus 3.5. All right, so let's go ahead and do this step by step. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're gonna multiply the 0 0.1 times 83.142, and we end up with 8.3142. Uh, um, now we're gonna start working on the second set of parentheses here now that we took care of the first set. All right, so multiplying together 1.8 times 83.142, we end up with 149.616. Now we need to multiply that by 0 0.02 to get rid of that parenthesis altogether, and we end up with 2.99232. Okay, I'm keeping a lot of decimals here just so we don't have any rounding errors as we go. We can round at the very end. Um, now we just have a, a bunch of addition here, so we can add these up. Um, so 8.3142 plus 2.99232, that gives us 11.30652. Now we add that to the 3.5, which is the resting component of all this, and we end up with an oxygen consumption during this uh, bout of walking that is 14.80652 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram body mass per minute, and we would just round this most likely to 15 mLs per kg per minute uh, to have more useful values here. All right, so fairly straightforward calculation to get oxygen consumption um, for walking activity. Um, so hope that was helpful. Uh, you can leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.